What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in RimWorld, got the aftermath of the massacre of the last episode to clear up and quite a bit of consolidation to do I think. we got our two prisoners here who are busy recuperating from their injuries, one of which we're trying to recruit, Laystra out here, and one of which we're not, Cassie who has some pretty unpleasant traits so not interested in her. Um, hard worker and cold tolerant are fine, of course, but the very neurotic I am really not keen on, nor am I keen on the incapable of pretty much damn well everything. So everything's looking alright in that respect, and hopefully not a huge amount <laughs> happens this episode so that I can do things like work on our defences, because I now have a different idea of how I want to do these. So how do we want this? We're going to need that there, and we're going to put steel wall there and then the thinking is we're gonna build a long old corridor for them to approach down I'm sure they'll like that and at the end of this corridor we are not going to have turret and sandbags in range we're gonna have these guys laid out slightly differently so So hopefully you get a bit of an idea, oh dear my voice, <clears throat> hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of what I'm looking at doing, whether these positions are correct I don't know, this might not be long enough for them to not want to stop at the back here, but the idea is that they'll come the whole way down the tunnel and then they'll get shot out by the turrets at this end, so, and let's run the power conduits along the back, both sides like that, and maybe see how that goes, don't know. That's the interpretation I got from what you guys said in the comments, whether that's a good interpretation, we are yet to see. Uh, let me know. Well, the other thing I wanted to do, because, um, oh god, my memory today is useless. Someone pointed out to me, Sean, that was it, pointed out to me that my rooms are in fact not quite big enough. Um, they're, they're fine for a little bit, but the light is essentially taking up a little bit too much room and it'll be even worse when I put in all of the plants and so on everywhere so yes yeah, so we're gonna make all these rooms a little bit bigger and there's a, obviously there's a couple that can't be made any bigger Let's switch these back to um, you guys all fully healed up yeah switch these back to non-medical prisoner beds now so they don't sleep on the floor uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna make these all slightly bigger so that we get the spacious interior buff in all of the bedrooms which means a bit of hauling as well let's get this junk out of there now we've got a few rooms we can't do that with, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Whether we keep them or whether we um, somehow repurpose those rooms into something else, maybe? Don't know. We will see. For now, I'm not going to worry too much about it because most of the rooms will offer that, that buff. Um, hopefully, yeah, the spacious interior one. Although interesting to see that Mako is in fact wearing frayed apparel. Let's get rid of his synth thread cowboy hat. No reason for it to be locked however and then let's find something to replace it so yeah that'll do replace a cowboy hat with another cowboy hat. One we made ourselves I'm pretty sure as well actually. Is anyone else in need of, yeah Benefactorist is in need of some gear so let's get him sorted out. Charge rifle, um, how are those? Deer hide pants, yep. Get some deer hide pants on. Parker and a helmet. Yep. Spot on. Yeah, that's looking pretty decent. Cruelty is Yep. Pretty well sorted as well, so those two are good. JP Miner almost doesn't matter because he can't fight, so as long as he's got some uh we got frayed apparel on you as well, haven't we? Because of this elk hide. Wait for you to be done in there. Right, drop that. Unlock that and let's go and find you something to wear instead. Uh, shoddy, nope, nope. Squirrel skin t shirt, eh? Looks like that might have to do. And nope, that's too beaten up and broken. 
Looks like we're actually kind of slow on supplies for... How's our crafting looking? Yeah, supplies of clothing. I might have to um, persuade them to do a little bit more of the crafting. So... I fail to understand why we've not been making these anyway. Let's try adding another bill. Let's, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's get some button-down shirts on the go. Make five of those out of whatever we've got available. Yep. Cool. And we've got plenty of wood, so let's get the floors that we need down in here so they don't complain about it being ugly. Not that it should be that bad, but yeah. So we've got trade ship. Who was that? I didn't even see. Bulk goods trader. Let's chill a sec while JP Miner finishes chatting to Laystrat there. Maybe even recruits him? Nope. And then we'll give the trader a ring. I doubt they're going to have anything we want, but we can buy some cheap beer. Or some expensive medicine, but otherwise, no, not really. Not really anything we're interested in. So off you go. That's kind of what I expected, but yeah. What we really want, obviously, is a slave trader so that we can sell Cassie there. And I'll get a little bit fed up, but so be it. As far as I remember, I was looking in here in the history, and we have Colonist Moon. It actually looks like, obviously, this was probably the drone period around here. I think one of these will have been the. Um, yeah, somewhere in here will have been the alien ship crash landing there, which coincides with the lowest drop in our mood. Um, and hopefully we can start crawling this back up again. Uh, oh yes, and I wanted to add fine meals in here do until we have ten. Yes, uh, and we can have that as a higher priority, I think, than the simple meals, because it'll only do it when we have the materials for it, which means that we'll need... Uh, need meat for that and we don't always have meat so that should be all right that way around I think there's a lot of building going on outside still so that bit of defenses is pretty much finished hopefully this is long enough that they won't be inclined to stay at the back corner here hopefully the snipers can't see these if they can we'll have to tweak things a little bit and I'm not going to change this bottom one until we've done so uh, these, yeah, these are all marked to be collected, so that's not full. People are just being slow at hauling, I see. Well, that's cool, and I might build some more. Let's mine out some more space down here. A couple of extra rooms for when they come in handy. And I suppose we could also have a look at production, get ourselves ourselves a brewery on the go and when we've got the stone blocks for it a crematorium although okay our bills there we just don't have any sandstone got lots of slate blocks though how many does this need 150 all right maybe um cancel that and we just build it out of slate because i think we might actually have enough slate blocks to just build that we got 208 yeah we do cool that's crematorium on the go as well, which means we don't need any more graves. It's getting chilly inside. Let's toggle this off as well, I think. Until axe weapon. Oh, there we go. We got Laystrat on board. Nice. Uh, which means, first things first, probably the first time you've seen me do this during an episode. Da, da, da. Welcome aboard, sir. I will do my very, very best not to get you killed. Thank you for your kind, kind help. And <laughs> now welcome to your demise. So, what do we want Grammarie up to? Very good at shooting, which is great. Not got any problems with that at all. Pretty good at wardening, but that's not that relevant. I might even leave it as it is, except have him as our primary hunter, if that ever becomes relevant. So, in fact, no one else can do that. 
Yes, because I had a couple of games recently aside from this one where I made the mistake of sending more than one person out hunting at a time, and it did make quite a mess. Uh, no, Grammary, you are not our warden. While, in fact, your social's pretty good, you're still not as good as our real warden, so... Fine with that, as we are. Leave that to JP Minor. Not that it matters with Cassie, she's the one we're going to be selling, but... Um, and then gear-wise... Psychic foil helmet, nice. Isn't that... weren't you the person with the... Oh no, psychically sensitive, well, uh, that's... Absolutely perfect then. Very nice. Armor vest, yeah. Everything's everything's good except you could probably do with an weapon. Oh, and also you're cooking. Why are you cooking? You shouldn't be cooking. You're not any good at cooking. Yeah. Leave that to the right people. So Mako is just going to become our primary cook now. So let's get those off. Oh, no, not off, but very low down. Benefactorist is our primary miner. JP Miner is the warden. The re yep, yep, yep. The Null can go for the constructioning and repairing as the primary. Hunting. Cool. So now things are slightly spread, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that's a good way of doing things, but that is how I'm doing things. So we'll see. Oh, and I should probably... I uh, said I'm fairly confident that that is that is a safe way of doing things uh, so when Grammary wakes up we can get what have we got char normal charge rifle in good condition yep get armed sir always amuses me in this game how quickly and how readily you're willing to just go oh happy birthday how quickly, readily, your people will just go. Yeah, here's a gun. Welcome aboard. Uh, you, I know, I know, we've had you locked up for the last god knows how many weeks, and you were our enemy. But yeah, you, you seem fine now. So, welcome. <laughs> here's a really big gun for you to use. Please don't hurt us. Anything else useful down here while I'm having a look around? A random plasteel knife out in nowhere. Oh, a bit of silver. I always say yes to a bit of silver. And another bit that's very well hidden behind a tree. Yeah, cool. So yeah, the other thing I've been thinking of doing, or been thinking of doing, um, people have been suggesting to me, obviously Sean suggested the uh, expansion of the bedrooms, but someone else has been talking about potentially having a, like a little mini fridge somewhere other than this. Um, potentially closer to some of the other rooms and some of the other living areas. And I think this might be the place to put it, because obviously it's got to be on the outside or even down here because I also quite like having these entrance passageways it keeps it really nice and cool uh, you don't have the the heat problems oh and we've got uh, yes cremate corpse indefinitely all the while there's corpses to cremate you should be cremating them uh, how's our power looking we still look to be on top the batteries have just started to drain a little bit overnight and we do not have hops yet do we so Maybe that is something to be looking at. Another bulk goods trader, which again is not really what we were after, but... Ah, uh, who's, who's cooking dodgy food? Is this because we let... Yes, I think I think this is because we let Grammary cook, cook a couple of meals, and now we've got people poisoned. Ah. I'll then call them, see if they've got anything we want. See, I could sell some of this leather directly, but I'd much rather make it into clothing and then sell that. Someone else has been given food poisoning as well. Damn it. Um, given you're not doing a huge amount else, I hate to say this, Grammy, but I might have you like really quite high priority cleaning for the time being. Just because no one else is really getting the opportunity to do it. And, yeah, the place is becoming a mess. Look at it. Especially when we got food poisoning going on. Ah, uh, yes, hops, 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 hops. Do, do, do. So we're gonna expand this out so that we can. What's that one? So one more row. So that we can fit some more plants in there. Because as I said, I don't believe at the moment we are. Yeah, we're growing devil strands, zerigum, and berries inside. No hops yet. 
apparently hops is where the money is at. So yeah, I've been playing Medieval Engineers all day, which is slightly off topic, I'm aware, but slightly on topic as well, I guess. This is all part and parcel of the same channel. And I don't know, I, I, obviously I was playing it all day because what I was hoping to be able to do was go, hey guys, here's a new Medieval Engineers video. I've made the tank work or the floating arm trebuchet is now amazing. And actually, on that note, I have I have improved the floating arm trebuchet and it will be back uh, relatively soon. But end result of it was, I just, I just don't get on with Medieval Engineers in the same way as I do with Space Engineers. I don't understand completely why. Part of it's going to be familiarity, obviously, and part of it's just, I don't know, I set out to build something in Space Engineers, I'm generally pretty confident that at the end of it, it's going to have worked. Uh, and I set out to build something in Medieval Engineers, and I've got absolutely no idea whatsoever if that's going to work or not. Just check if JP Miner's getting there. Yeah, Spacious Interior is working just fine. Loads of food, cluster of cargo pods, something useful. Nutrient paste meals? No, I don't think so. I, I see no reason to make my guys eat nutrient paste at this point. They are doing far too well for that sort of rubbish. Yes, everyone very happy. And is our overall mood actually rising? That'll be an interesting question. Yeah, look at it. Look, yeah, this is what we need. Everyone's actually getting upbeat. We've got some good quality food going around. Someone's finally getting a chance to actually do some cleaning up. Should get someone hunting as well, although that was Grammary and I'd quite like him to to finish the cleaning task first. Looks like Cruelty's got some spare time too now. Um, and then there's uh, a lot of clearing up out here to be done as well. Like I want to get this zone out of the way so perhaps I'll do that while they're on to the task of just expanding this dumping stockpile out in such a way where it's at the back here rather than being like kind of annoying and in the way in the middle especially as I think we've um, actually run out of room in there now too I keep accidentally poisoning things I was like, I'm not, not intending to do that, it just happens how angry is Cassie getting having been in there all the time eight off the ground, yeah that's the point I could put tables in the prisoner rooms hadn't thought of that Power's, yeah, power's fine overnight, so no real problems there. Um, we are actually getting to the point where we've only got one spare room. So, good job I was already on those. That's cool. Let's get them finished off. So, just still going to keep using wood for all this stuff. I see. Oh, hang on. Local deer. Local deer is not, not that scary, especially when it's miles away. So, quick colonist check. Where are you guys all at? No one is anywhere silly. Good. Please try and remain not anywhere silly. Where's the home zone set here? Because they're doing a lot of um Yeah, this is this is unnecessary. Uh somehow I like the idea of bloody en entrance way. <laughs> I won't, but it does seem slightly amusing. Cool, and here comes the deer, so do do do. So I'll power things, there we go. Go go turrets, go! Did Grammarie manage to escape being shot in the face by our own turrets? He did, amazing. Brilliant, looking good. Benefactress is even getting a chance to actually do some tailoring, that's great. Let's uh, increase the size of this storage room again, and maybe even think about building another one. Oh, they can't get back to that, to mine it out. That was a silly mistake. Um, what to do about this? Because the entire room is the wrong size for that. Ah, right, this is a bit more serious, and they want to besiege the colony. Okay. Well, we've got people. So, I probably want to go for them straight away, actually. I, I don't think it's a good idea to hang around at this point. Though. They're all melee, which is good, because that means we should be able to um, kite them a fair bit. But at the same time, they're also all got personal shields. 
hence, hence knowing they're all melee. And, um... Yeah, they are going to siege us out, apparently, which is okay. Let's um, right. let's get things slowed down a bit. We've got Cruelty with the LMG, which is cool. Let's have Cruelty with the LMG there, and Mako with the survival rifle opposite him. These charge rifles are a bit short of range, if I remember rightly, so let's have what's that, and that leaves... Oh. Oh, 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 we've got attention already. Or have we? What are they doing? What are they doing? Guys. In fact, just, just stop and shoot. Whatever you're doing. We'll pull you back in a second. But for now, just shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Fire at the enemy. Right. Pull back. Probably quicker than most of us, so or at, le at least some of us will be slow, definitely. And this is one of these dodgy moments where I don't want to turn the turrets on like too early. Right, we're clear. We're good. We're good. We're good. Get them, boys. You guys keep running. Let's, yeah, I just want to be careful of turning these turrets up here on too soon while these guys are in line of sight. Let's have Cruelty and Benefactress in a place where they can help. Right, and that should be good for turret activation time. That's right, you get the hell down. Right, so Grammary got a cut on his arm, which is really not the end of the world, but still, that was sufficiently good that we can leave him behind and we can just go out. Was there anybody left back? So there's one guy left building. Cool. That's kind of in our favour, and we really need to get mortars up soon. This is where the mortars will come in handy. You just As soon as they land, you're like, nope, mortar on your head, sir. <clears throat> ah, throat today, sorry keep saying that but it's kind of annoying I know how horrible the noise is it's like ah shut up right, let's get up here guys before he gets a chance to actually start launching anything at us would be cool Yeah, how are you feeling now, friend? I would have stopped building by this point, personally. Oh, hell of a shit. This is one tough dude, look at him. But, not tough enough. Awesome. So, don't want the meals, I don't think. Actually, it doesn't hurt to have package survival meals around. They're kind of handy when times get tough. Uh, and one of you guys can go and strip him as well. Cool. Fairly easy to handle, as long as um, Grammary is healing just fine. JP Miner is on his way to heal. Good. Just going to say, why is he not? Why is he not being given medical treatment? Damn it! And let's get the power off on the turrets again. didn't really tell us whether or not this works, however, is the only thing. Still holding it together, that's okay. 
slightly concerned that Cassie was going to lose the plot at some point. I'm, I'm, and I'm sure she will eventually, but for now, we are good. Oh, isn't it easy? Isn't it easy when you've got a crematorium? Stupid graves. Food supplies are staying stable, which is good. Got a couple. Ah, oh, yes, we were halfway through building bedrooms, weren't we? Now I remember. Yeah, so, up at the floors. And the ability to see. I know you supposedly don't need the lights for them to sleep in, but they don't seem to get a debuff from having the lights, but they certainly get a debuff from not having lights while they're awake. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the person that's not. Cruelty is the one that's not in the uh, suitably sized room. Uh, right, production. We have not got. I could get a sculptor's table up, that seems a bit a bit on the go, a bit full on. But you yeah, know, if there's nothing else to do, there's nothing else to do. Um can we long enough? Let's have a look, how long is this? Yeah, nine and nine is the correct length. And then we can also that might collapse. Dunno, we'll see. And we're in super slow mode again. Go, my little minions, go! Some of this, some of these trees out of our kill zones. It's a bit weird. Saved while I was placing that, and kind of jammed. Can't clear it, the frog, it's here to stay. Slightly strange line. How long have we been going for? Probably an episode by this point, but as usual, we kind of missed that opportunity, that timed event where it was like, yes, that should have been where I said, yep, we're done here. And instead, I did not, so. <laughs> what we got? Blights. Blights shouldn't affect us with the sort of food crops we've got stacked up. We should be alright. Once these guys have got that mine there, we can put down a few more hydro things and start growing some hops indoors. I could, I suppose designate all this rubbish that isn't in the hauling zone to be hauled to the hauling zone. That might make sense. And there was also, if I remember rightly, a plan to have a little firing zone from back there as well. For our dudes. And equally, let's do the same back here. Like that. And then get rid of this one in case we need to build some more solar plants. Don't hang around when they're given something to do. Well, except for the mining. Yeah, did we have pneumatic drill? Yeah, we did research pneumatic picks, so mining just takes ages. Ah, it's beautifully clean. Look at it go. It's a work of grammary. So yes, we are most certainly at that point where the next thing that happens of any interest, that'll be where we call it. Someone has turned that off now, haven't they? Yes, so we're slightly warmer indoors than we are outdoors. That's perfect. I imagine the crematorium might actually generate a bit of heat. But I'm not sure. Depending on how cold it gets, we might even need to consider 
little bit of heating. That'd be interesting. Ah, there, there's a problem as well. He is using the meat for the simple meals when we don't need the meat for the simple meals. Waste. Okay, and production. I'm just going to get some hydro basins in here. So, same sort of layout. Internal stockpile is really nice. Ooh, we're completely out of steel. Let me get back to some mining. Which is fine because I've been that's it, I've been intrigued to see what's in here anyway, so that'll do as we go Aha! Prepare for attack and then uh, we'll let them come up. That's quite a sizable band as well. This is definitely the one to finish on for today. They've got some good weapons. And, oh well, goodish weapons. We've got some grenades to deal with, which is always slightly annoying, but hey. Just a shame they're coming this side and not that side. Hang on, guys. Where are you off to? Ah, we're still collecting stuff from over here, are we? Why are you using those meals? That's really weird. Okay, so they're beginning their assault. Everyone is remaining in base for the time being. So let's get everyone in position. How close are they? All right. Get on the case, guys. Where's JP Miner? You're the only one that does not need to do that. Everyone else, let's get you down here. So... No, up there as well, Benefactorist in the middle of them. And is that everybody? That does appear to be everybody. JP Miner, stop being weird, bro. Right? You can just go and stand somewhere. Oh, damn, didn't turn the turrets on. That was a bit on the fail side, but so bit. I will, however, turn those ones on. This rate, we might even keep the turrets. Nah, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose the one again, at least. There's a small chance, however, that we keep the rest alive. So we can send benefactorist around the top here. Nope. Perfect. Right. What are you like? Trigger happy. Chemical fascination. Otherwise, kind of okay. I mean, I don't, don't really mind either of those. They're not great, but yeah. Uh, Health-wise, not lost any limbs. Gunshot to the spine. That's never good. No, nope. capture it is. Everyone else got killed, I imagine. Oh no, Meowski. <laughs> good name. Nudist that's wearing clothes. Fast water, neurotic. No, thank you. So, given we do not have anywhere to keep... Do we have anywhere to keep you? I'm not sure I want to have two people kind of under our care that aren't of any use at the same time. Um, guys, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but can we, can we execute? Sudden speed up so that benefactorists can charge straight through the middle of them. Local boom rat has gone mad. And I, like a fool, right clicked it and didn't check where the hell it was. Oh, well, turrets are all on, so it shouldn't really matter. Oh, guys, come on. You're making it painful. It also makes me glad that we have all those turrets, because otherwise, 
Otherwise, we'd never get anything done. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh dear. Come on, we've got to finish the episode with an execution. It's only right. Oh, you guys are straight up useless. I'm aware that this none of this stuff will be helping them, but still. We just claim it's shooting practice. Hey, well done. Right, you guys go back. Strip. Especially as we got a fire to deal with. Put the fire out, guys. Put the fire out. I want to keep these weapons and so on that we've just won. Would be cool. Nice. Well, that seems to be relatively solid, relatively sound, so... I think that might be the point at which to call the episode done. Let's just do the last of the stripping, as is required. And then, I think, let's just check. Everyone's good. EST, let's just sort out the prisoner side of things. So, get to medicine, trying to recruit, friendly chat. Yes, because this was the one. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. I'm not, I'm not picky. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone is intact and a 0% chance of good quality. Not sure why that might be. D dude, just behind you. Ah, can I not have the ones on the corners like that? They they can't put food down on the same spot, maybe. Don't know. Worth a shot. So there you go, guys. That's some more progress made. Some more carnage had. We need to redevelop our defences a bit because I think this layout is better than this layout. But still holding on strong. Not lost any of you yet. So thanks a lot for watching, as usual. If you liked, please hit like, please hit share. Helps me in the channel out. And otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.